Good morning, I'm Valley Anderson. Today is Friday, July 2nd. Welcome to Sunrise with Dr. Serge O'Connor. Dr. Connor is a servant of the underserved and an advocate of his most recently launched post-incarceration juvenile justice reformation act initiative, also known as Returning Youth Initiative. This initiative assures youth that are released from incarceration have the ability to create a self-sustaining productive life for themselves. Today, we have Robert Tinko joining us from Texas. Thank you. How are you doing today, Dr. Conham? Good morning, Valley. Good morning, uh, Robert. Thank you very much for joining in this wonderful morning of Friday, getting ready to prepare for July 4th weekend. I think July 4th this year falls on Sunday, but everybody's celebrating on Monday. So we have two days celebration, 4th and 5th. Independence, a lot of fireworks. And today I heard from some people in Indiana, they start, already started having fireworks from tonight. So let's talk a little bit about your experience, Robert, about fireworks and July 4th, as we prepare to come as, and I see you wearing a nice <laughs> US flag patriotic shirt. That's nice. So you are already ready for the July 4th. So what do you think about July 4th? Yeah, well, here in Texas, we start early, you know, and uh, have a long weekend. But uh, uh, I have very fond memories of July 4th. Uh, used to be in uh, Mississippi at the fishing rodeo. And uh, that's where uh, had a very good time going through the fishing rodeo, riding the rides. And then they'd have a big, uh, you know, celebration on the fireworks display. Uh, here in the woodlands in Texas, uh, downtown, they shoot them off over the buildings. I uh, have a, a very huge uh, display of fireworks. And, uh, you know, we celebrate up here in the woodlands area as well. And Independence is, a, you know, the U.S. is a, a fantastic place to live. As you know, yourself and myself, we've traveled around the world and uh, met many, uh, you know, different people from different countries. So uh, the U.S. is a special place. So what do you think? I know you uh, you are taking a leading role in the state of Texas, which is one of the biggest, or you can say largest state of United States. And you're taking a leading role of taking this initiative, returning youth initiative in the state of Texas. So how do you feel about it? How do you feel that you want to give it something to the society, especially to the post-incarcerated young adults? Well, I, I think that uh, it's a wonderful challenge and, um, you know, to take the, uh, the youth, you know, incarcerated youth back out and give them an opportunity that uh, maybe today they haven't seen. Uh, you know, I grew up in a day where we had challenges as well, didn't have a whole lot, but was able to see the opportunities and seize on some of those opportunities. And I think that uh, being able to teach and uh, give them some hope that, uh, you know, whether that's business, because I've been in business for most of my life, uh, but also an outlook uh, different than what uh, maybe they've seen in the past. Uh, so I look very forward to it. So do you think uh, this post-incarcerated young adults, when they come out of jail, do you think that they should get a second chance, a third chance in their life? I, I believe that everybody needs to have a second and third chance. We all make mistakes. Sometimes, uh, you know, we're not reprimanded or, or a serious mistake, but uh, we all make mistakes at different times in our life and make the wrong choice uh, and sometimes uh, we don't recognize that and especially at an early age a lot of times you don't see things that as an adult that you probably understand them uh, you know and steer away from but because uh, you've seen things so yes uh, definitely look forward uh, to trying to help them and give them again give them a better uh, outlook on life so what is your plan what exactly you would like to give these individuals when they come to your uh, you know, uh, location when, which you are planning to open up, what kind of hope are you planning to give them? What kind of opportunity are you planning to give them? Well, 
The first thing I think is to understand uh, where they're coming from, what, they, what they've had in the past, what their dreams and what their goals are. Maybe they don't even have them, uh, you know, and to try to instill that a little bit because without a dream or a goal, you never reach to that. You know, there's not a destiny that you, that you can think of that uh, excites you. So you have to install that uh, and give them some hope, a dream, a goal, but understand what what it is that they want to do and what it is that they desire and what is their capabilities. And and are you planning to teach them some life skills, training, and you know, and give them some type of training so they can have a wonderful career, right? Absolutely. You know, that that's all part of the, the whole program is uh, teaching and giving them, uh, you know, the tools that they need uh, and an understanding of how to go out and, and uh, position themselves for a job, learning about uh, what, what some of the tasks are and just uh, actually even how to speak and communicate with people correctly. So there's a lot of different things within the structure to be able to teach them and, and uh, support them. And you know that most of them, all, well, not most, all the kids have some type of talents. Uh, all absolutely. they have to do it is give them an opportunity, mm -hmm. right? That's correct. Every Everybody has a God-gifted talent. And, uh, you know, most of us, we, we search and search and, and uh, sometimes, uh, but if you can focus on what that is and you know what that is, uh, you want your life to go that way because that'll make you happy. That's the happiest point that you can be. But we all have a different talent of some type. So I think because we are all are getting ready for the independence, like you said, it's a great country where the independency, everybody uh, have freedom because of our constitution mm -hmm. is the best place to live because everybody gets an opportunity to explore their talents. Yeah. So I think this is the right time to allow this post-incarcerated individuals, those who have talents and those who are coming out of jail to give them a platform so that they can also exhibit uh, that they have talents. So yeah. what, what do you think, what would be your message to these young individuals those are coming out of jail or even those who are, you know, trying to stay out of trouble, you know, those yeah. individuals, what kind of message would you like to give them today, especially because we are in the verge of celebrating the independence of this country? Yeah, I, I think that uh, the opportunity exists for everybody in the United States. And if there's an old movie that I watched, even as a, uh, you know, teenager, I guess it was, or maybe a little bit later than that, called Trading Places. And it was about a, uh, it was in New York and a Wall Street guy, very wealthy, and then a, a person that was on the street, homeless. And the story goes where it's really a fine line, truly a fine line between having nothing and having everything. And that fine line is the opportunity but also the, the ability to cross that line and believe you can do it, okay? So you have to have the confidence and that's what we want to instill into the, the uh, juvenile and the, and the children is that confidence that you can succeed. And, uh, you know, because uh, it, it really is, one person can go down and another person can go up. We want them all to go up with the right training. And uh, this is a country that can, uh, again, you can start from nothing and end up with a lot. That's a very good message, Robert, we're giving to these young adults, especially for the Independence Day, that the fine line between nothing and everything. And that fine line, I think today is a very strong message. Valley, I want you to kind of uh, reiterate that because Valley is, and the person who took this initiative very first time in Montana, in Hamilton, Montana. And that's where we saw that, Robert, what you just said about fine line between nothing to everything. Yep. And that's what 
this program is all about. That's what this initiative is all about, to give a hope and opportunity so that they can be in that fine line so that they can from nothing to everything and everything is possible. That's a very good message. Robert, thank you very much for joining us from Texas. I know you are going to take this in the month of July and we are going to have a safe haven in July in Texas. We don't know exactly which town, which city, but definitely we are starting in uh, what county you are in from? Um, uh, Harris. Harris, Harris County, County yeah. where Houston lies, right? Yeah, I, I border on Harris and Montgomery County, but yeah, Houston is in Harris County. Okay, great. So you know that's a great city. That's one of the city that that's emerging, and definitely you are taking the safe haven. So we are definitely giving an opportunity to all these post-incarcerated individuals those are coming out. And Valley, I think you have something fun to share. <laughs> at the at the end of the session because some other national days today right yeah so today is actually like national forget the day you just forget <laughs> so that's that's what today is in case you forgot uh, I, don't want, I don't want people to forget that we're coming to houston or that area don't forget that or don't forget that july 4th is and Independence Day, don't forget that. Just forget that July 2nd exists. Maybe that's the message. Let's forget to go to work, right? No. <laughs> well, it is Friday, so maybe maybe they should take an extra day off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, well, I sure wish everybody, uh, you know, a happy 4th of July and a celebration with your family if, uh, you know, cook out or however you uh, celebrate the 4th of July. Thank you very much, Robert. I also wish all the audience those who are listening, especially the young adults, that happy Independence Day, have a lot of fun, stay out of trouble, and stay out of all the COVID-19 trouble as well, and be safe, and let's hope for the best for this Returning Youth Initiative. Thank you, Valerie. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Khan and Robert Tanko for joining today. For those who wish to know more about this initiative, please visit our website, returningyouth.com. As you all know, we bring Sunrise to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, shortly after 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch us on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube at Returning Youth or Khan of Youth. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you have a fun and safe fourth. See you on Valley. Monday. God bless. Valley, don't, don't forget that the audience should understand that we are taking uh, Sunrise in Spanish speaking for the Latinx community within the next two weeks. Yes. So please stay tuned that we'll be having Sunrise on the same days, Mondays, Wednesday, Friday in Spanish. So I'll be learning Spanish. Maybe one day Robert can learn Spanish as well and be joining in the Spanish Sunrise. I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you. God bless.